Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? Um, I'm I'm doing okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. It, it, last night with work, it was just weird. Uh, it's the only way I could think to describe it. Um, it I things were just off. Um, I every almost every step of the way, it, it was just like I I don't. I don't know what it was or anything. And then uh, I, I'll admit it too. I was I was a little worried about Little Miss uh, before I left because I noticed last couple days she hasn't really been feeling right. Um, I think she may not have been feeling all too great or whatever. And then just before I left, she was, again, very clingy with me. And you know what? I got to take these off. The glare drives me nuts. And at the same time, I just felt, you know, she, I noticed throughout the day she was doing a lot of sleeping. She hasn't really been playing and so forth. And I was like, eh. and uh, when I got home, um, yeah, she she definitely um, barfed up um, whatever was upsetting her tummy. So I don't know um, what I know that her allergies have been bothering her this week. I've been noticing a lot of drainage from her eyes. I've been trying to do the best I can to uh, keep that cleared. So it could just be that uh, everything finally just backed up into her tummy. And yeah, but even with myself last night, it was just like, I, 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 I'm glad that I took the previous night off, um, even though I know I can't afford it, you know, and all this sort of stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm glad I took it off because um, I noticed that uh, I was f flaring up uh, um, quite a bit last night with different aromas and so forth. So, um, yeah, um, definitely still uh, dealing with some after effects from having that asthma attack, uh, the, I guess, two nights before, <laughs> whatever. So, yeah, um, I know. My gray hairs there popping out. I know, getting them quite a bit, but oh well, it's all right. Um, so yeah, and then um, I, last night um, my, my allergies were flaring up um, uh, quite a bit, getting that you know that post nasal drip, you know, and so forth, it was, and, and feeling like things were closing up a little bit. And it's like, yeah, okay, I get it. And uh, then, I don't know, it was just kind of weird, uh, too. I could, um, on the one hand, even like with the delivery requests I was getting, I don't know, it just felt off with uh, the whole night. Um, and I didn't really make that much money either. Um, primarily because, well, I, I did have some requests kind of outlying or whatever, but I just kept getting these requests kind of close to home. I felt like I was being kept close to home for, for whatever reason. It was just like, all of a sudden it dawned on me. I'm like, it's, yeah, I keep getting kind of close to home. And then the last request that I had gotten, um, I sat in McDonald's drive through for what seemed like forever. It was a short line, but I hadn't really picked up at that location. Um, I don't, I think I might have once before. I'm not too sure, but it was like, oh my gosh, they were like taking forever. And then it seemed like nobody could get um, the information I had to give to them. It seemed like nobody could get it right. It was just like, what in the world? And then finally I got, I was asked to pull around and it would be brought out to me and so on and so forth. I don't know. It, it, so I mean, it was just weird um, um, with everything last night. And, um, I knew I, I was supposed to be out there, but at the same point, I, I was just like, I don't want to say opposing energy, but I don't know. It was, I know I keep saying it was just weird, but that's the only way I could think to describe it. But anyway, that, that request that I got to, literally took me right up the road from where I was, uh, from, from where I live. And it, it, when it was a uh, strange, I'm going to switch words here. Um, as I was driving and, and I pulled, uh, um, into, it was a cul-de-sac, um, there's these apartments that, that are in this cul-de-sac 
And I was, I was pulling in there. I don't know. I just had this overwhelming feeling of release. Very strange. Very, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to say weird. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I noticed that my allergies cleared up and so forth. But I, I just felt like there was this huge release. And then I felt drained. Like I couldn't keep my eyes open even. And I'm just like, no, it's too early. I should at least make this one dollar amount and everything. And I'm just like, no, I need to go home. I need to get off the road. I wasn't thinking clearly. And um, I'm like, okay, well, give me a chance to, to check on her. Um, um, yeah, and when I got home, you know, I cleaned up her mess. Um, and I died for about an hour, something like that. And then I ate and then I couldn't go back to sleep. And I was just like, but eventually I did. I did a lot. I, I noticed um, when I w did wake up, I did a lot of tossing and turning. And when I woke up this morning, my body is just aching everywhere. Uh, it's like my, especially in my chest area. So it could be, you know, because of everything, you know, that I went through. And then of course I did a um, little bit of work around lifting out some heavy objects and so forth. Yeah. Um, it could be, and I'll admit I was driving around with my windows open last night. Um, and I was real cold when I um, got home too, not because, not because of, you know, I had the windows open, but internally I felt chilled just real real chilled so i'm not too sure i know uh, um yeah allergies have been a little bit of an issue this week of course like i mentioned um and i know that because of her um dealing with the same thing um but um yeah i just i just uh, in some ways I, I wish i would have taken some ibuprofen before i went to bed and i, I mean there was no reason for me to but now i'm like oh god and I just feel very achy today. Um, but in the process, too, I also had some things come into my brain. I know my eye keeps... Here we go. Oh, and in my dreams, my sleep patterns have been off the last few nights um, as far as... Um, I feel like there's some messages that are coming through. Um, and I just, I just, my, yeah, like I said, my sleep patterns are just, it's almost like I'm in the wake of a full moon or a storm coming or something because it's like, I'm just not sleeping right. Um, and unfortunately my dream catcher necklace that, uh, I usually wear, uh, it's it broke, so I can't uh, wear it to help um, with my channeling and so forth. But yeah, I've just these last several nights, I I'm just like wow, these these uh, um, dreams that I keep having and everything, um, and they're just everything. Yeah, a lot of stuff that's coming through. <coughs> um. And again, last night, again, I'm going to try and take a little nap this afternoon. Because um, I'm just, I, and, and I'm going to take some ibuprofen too, because I'm just feeling really not right. But anyway, um, I'm losing my train of thought here. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not entirely too sure. Um, but I, what was interesting though, I mean, it could be, um, you know, cause I am letting go of a lot of things, uh, whether it be things themselves, relationships, um, potential, what have you. Um, I know some of that, uh, one dream I had had to do with, with that. Um, basically, the, um, I'll just come out and say the gentleman that I was interested in, um, so uh, some of it is probably, you know, my brain wrestling uh, with it. But I just feel like it's more messages that are coming through, especially um, with 
you know, the, the reading that I did yesterday where it was all about letting go and then, of course, uh, allowing love to come in, um, whether it be love for my new path, love for myself, you know, so on and so forth. Um, or poss a possibility of a new love coming in, uh, whether it be somebody new or maybe possibly somebody from the past and maybe they're like, yeah, okay, I get it now or something, you know. Um, but, but what's interesting with watch, I just got done watching MJ's, um, reading for today. Uh, every Saturday she does a, basically it's a weekly reading. She goes around the Zodiac starting with whatever sign that we're in. Of course, right now we're in Scorpio and then she does an extra reading, um, at the end for, um, for everybody, more of a general, but anyway, and it's the the, it's, the video is timestamped, so you don't have to sit there and watch everybody's. It is timestamped, so you can just jump to whichever reading that you're interested in. But with the signs that I watched, it was the same thing with the reading that I did um, uh, yet for myself yesterday that I posted over there on the community tab. And... Um, on the blog and um, what I experienced um, when I woke up from my nap after getting home with thoughts that were going through my head also and what I've been going through uh, this week with a lot of letting go and um, the if you're curious uh, to know what uh, which signs that I uh, was watching uh, usually I, I anytime she brings out um, readings having to do with uh, you know um, for individual signs I do my uh, sun moon and rising my Venus sign is the same as my sun sign so it's no big deal um, but um, I do my sun my moon my rising uh, my north node and my Lilith <coughs> And then there, I usually, of course, will watch the general also um, when it's readings like today. Um, and in case you're wondering who I'm talking about, I'm talking about MJ Cranmore, uh, Mary Jo Cranmore over on Soulful Revolution, uh, that YouTube channel. Fantastic woman. She does great, great work. But anyway, um, and, and then I usually will wa um, watch whatever other sign is coming out at me for one, one way or another for whatever reason and today i i watched uh, my, my, my sun moon and rising north node and lilith okay um let me see my sun sign is scorpio uh actually my birthday is coming up on monday 11 11 yeah i'm that baby mm -hmm. um so yeah, uh, sun is Scorpio. My moon is Libra. Uh, my rising is Leo. My North node is Sag and then my Lilith is Aquarius. Um, so I was watching all those and then I, I wasn't going to watch it. Um, but I wound up watching the Capricorn Capricorn came out in my Sag and it was kind of poignant. Uh, so, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, and I, like I said, I wasn't going to watch it, but it kept jumping the time line. Um, I was trying to jump over to, from Sag to Aquarius and it kept jumping back to a Capricorn. I'm like, okay, fine. I'll watch it. <laughs> yeah. They all tied in together and I didn't watch, um, of course, any of the other signs, you know, of course I watched my Leo and, and, and Libra. But they, but she was saying that uh, even like with the general reading there at the end, it's all about letting go and trust. In the end, that's basically what it boils down to is is trust, trusting in the new path, trusting in spirit, trusting you know um, what's coming through, and so on and so forth. I'm not entirely too sure what exactly is coming through for me right now. I just I just feel like that I need to be focusing on me. Uh, right now, I mean, don't get me wrong. If uh, opportunities come my way, I will consider them. Um, you know, but I'm not gonna be jumping headfirst or anything like that. 
So, but yeah, that's just kind of, um, it, yeah, and, and really what I was thinking about when I got home, <coughs> excuse me, is, you know, um, today's actually the 20, is it 20? Yeah, 20 year anniversary of when I, the very first time I ever came to Vegas. And little that I know, I was going to wind up living here for the next 20 years. <laughs> moved out here a few months later and a lot of things were going through my head uh with um with that and everything experiences that i have had uh especially uh, um especially with uh people and so forth and um it's been a mixed bag i'll admit I mean, don't get me wrong, I've had a lot of good experiences, but I've also had a lot of negative experiences as well. And I'm just thinking about, you know, the cultural differences between West Coast and East Coast. It's very different, even though we're the same country. Um, it's very different, uh, especially with being from, with living in the South most of my life. I was actually born and spent my first years in, in Michigan, but I lived most of my life in the South. Um and in many ways, I miss it. Uh, but at the same point, I also know that I have changed. So going, you know, um, uh, going back could be, a, it would be a bit of a culture shock. Yeah, it would, there would be a lot of that six of cups, you know, nostalgia that I have gone back before. Um, I've spent about uh, four months back there and and uh, I was also thinking about um, the reason why I moved out here um, it wasn't just um, uh, I was thinking more astrologically uh, but thinking about my astro cartography chart the fact that this is basically where my Saturn return is and I moved out here just as what uh, uh, astro cartography says you know th that you tend to be drawn to your Saturn returns um, at certain mile markers, uh, in your life. And sure enough, when I turn, was turning 29, um, I kept being drawn West and I really wasn't too sure why, but, or, or where, and I knew it wasn't California, um, Washington or Oregon, but it was like, and then when I came here, I'm just like, okay, this is it. And it wasn't until a few years ago when I was reading about astro cartography. There's a definitive book. I um, didn't bring it out. I don't think I have. Yeah, I do have it. Hold on. Let me show you this. Oh, sorry. I had no idea what, really what I was going to be talking about here. Okay. So, there we go. So, this is the book. Okay. That way you got it. This is the definitive source of uh, if you're interested in your astro cartography chart. And you can pull those charts on um, pretty much the same sites that you can pull your birth charts, you know, like astro.com and so forth. Actually, I recommend astro.com over the others primarily because um, you're able to zoom in on certain areas with, with your paths and so forth. So, yeah, um, that's basically the reason why I kept being drawn west and, and um, is because of my, I realized it was because this is where my Saturn return is. And I was also thinking about my Pluto placement and I was saying, thinking about um, the, a negative aspect that I have um, uh, going through New Mexico. Yeah, just there was a lot of things that were, and, and then things that happened when I was in Florida for four months. Um, yeah, just a lot of things were going through my brain and, and, and also thinking, of course, about the cultural differences and this and that just so much really was going through my brain when I got home and I woke up from that nap and everything and thinking about, um, the move out here and thinking about, you know, um, possibly, you know, moving back home, this, that, uh, a lot was going through my brain. It's like, no wonder I couldn't sleep. <laughs> no wonder I was doing so much tossing and turning. And I knew that I was doing a lot of tossing and turning because uh, my necklaces were a mess. 
um, when I woke up finally. So, um, yeah, I think there's a lot that's coming out through, through me right now. Um, so that's why even if any, and I'm talking, when I say opportunities, I'm not just talking about, you know, love opportunities. I was talking about possible work opportunities, uh, um, 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 uh, opportunities to, you know, possibly moving into someplace a little bit more permanent instead of the weekly that I'm in right now, you know, all of that, I'm taking things slow. Doesn't matter what it is. I'm not jumping into anything. I'm going to consider things slowly, and I'm also going to consider them with a grain of salt. And it's not because, oh, I've been through so much or this or that or anything. It's, it's just... It's kind of where I'm at right now. So, but yeah, there's, um, just trying to figure things out with my path and everything. Yeah, there's things I still want to be able to do and so forth. Um, and I know the direction that I'm going right now. Um, uh, but if I'm talking about things that might come into my path that might put a halt on something, from the direction that I'm actually going and possibly go have me go in a different direction. That's what I'm talking about. Anything. Doesn't matter what it is. And I'm going to consider all of that very carefully. So, yeah, I feel, I feel like that um, that's kind of a, with the messages that are coming out with her readings and then with the reading that I did and everything. I, I feel like that we're, you know, because we're in these final days of Pluto being in Capricorn. I feel like that we're tying up a lot of loose ends right now. Um, and then once he gets into Aquarius, wow, I, 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 I feel the same thing that things are going to be speeding up. And I, and, and especially since, you know, with my birthday coming up and this is a big mile marker, I feel like that, um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm at that crossroads to figure figure out things out with with my future and everything. I know what I want to do and so forth. Um, but I also know that there's going to be things that are going to cross my path that I'm going to have to take into consideration as well. So, yeah, a lot's been going through my brain with everything. Um, and, yeah, like I said, I'm just feeling very achy today. Um, I just hope I'm not coming down sick. I, I That's the last thing I need right now. I, I really don't need that. Um, I don't think I think so. As you know, sometimes I'll go through this, uh, through this, if, if I'm going through um, some sort of ascension or, um, you know, um, just my body will just do it because, uh, let's face it, I basically had my period uh, earlier this week also. You know, my body's kind of gone through a lot this week, too. So, I, I don't know. Um, we'll see how it all plays out. Um, I, I get the feeling that probably get a good night's sleep and um, I'll probably feel a lot better. <coughs> but I do have to work tonight. Um, and I'm still only doing, as far as the inhaler is concerned, i got it sitting here on my night table. Um, I... I had seriously considered maybe doing a couple of puffs, but I'm glad I didn't because of how achy that I'm feeling. I'm like, yeah, and I'm feeling crampy in here again. I'm like, ah, I'm really getting tired of, of that. So I don't know if uh, maybe there might be something else that maybe another one he can try me on or something. Um, I don't know. And I did try and, and get a hold of a insurance, health insurance broker yesterday. Um, but it was like everybody was closing up early or whatever. And except for uh, one person, she normally wouldn't be closed up early. Anyway. <laughs> um, but she texted me that uh, she had an emergency come up. Um, so she's going to uh, see about getting back with me uh, Monday. That's what she said. We'll see what happens. Um, but I need to get that straightened around. I need to... Um, get some answers on that before um, December 1st rolls around when my uh, Medicaid um, uh, ceases. 
to exist. So I need to know what I'm going to be facing as far as costs and so forth. Um, um, and get my prescriptions switched over and so on and, and, and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, there's just, there's just been a lot, um, on my plate and, and, and everything. Um, not to say that that's, um, any excuse. I'm just taking everything one, one step at a time, you know, and doing, getting back to doing my embroidery, um, this week has been wonderful. It has been helping me with relaxing. Um, and that's the thing too, you know, because, uh, um, you know, that creative energy, sometimes it can be disruptive in, in the brain too. So it could be that going on. Um, it's, uh, um, I don't know. It's just kind of, I did have also have a dream about SEMA, uh, one aspect of, uh, of it or whatever. It was a very state of the art card that I had seen. It was like, whoa, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> So who knows, maybe that's something that's going to be um, coming into our futures here soon. Very sleek, very nice. It was it was a nice car. Um, we'll see. Um, so, yeah. Um, I know. Yeah, I know. My brain isn't really thinking all too clearly or anything. Um but anywho, um, I hope that you all are having a great weekend. Um, yeah, like I said, t uh, it's 20 years ago today, actually tonight is my first time I ever set foot in Vegas. Um, it was, it was a real quick trip. Um, it was, I was actually in town. It was my mom and I both, we had been pl uh, planning that trip for, um, a few months. Um, Queen who we were both huge fans of, still am, um, they had uh, opened up their show here, We Will Rock You, over at the Paris. And to coincide with that, they re-released uh, their classic hits one uh, album, uh, along with a couple of new tracks. And also, um, uh, there was a special promo that they were uh, doing uh, to get people to come out to see the show. It was a great show. Loved it. Uh, unfortunately, though, um, that Harris and uh, Caesars merger happened and Harris fucked everything up, basically. And I was working at the Paris when it happened and uh, I saw it happen. Yeah, they, they intentionally sabotaged that show and I know that. But anyway, um, so, yeah, uh, we came out here to see that show, and um, it was strictly for that. And, of course, uh, taken into town and so forth. And uh, just really uh, fell in love with the energy, um, that youthful kind of energy and so forth. Um, my mom did like it as well. Uh, she got disgruntled after a while. Now, I'll admit I've been disgruntled here and there as well. Understandable. Um no place is perfect, no matter how hard you try. Um, there's always going to be, you know, those bad apples and so forth. Um, but for the most part, it was it was a good move. Um, I really, in many ways, I don't have uh, too many regrets. Um, but, um, yeah, it was, and... Um, um, we came, we moved out here. It was just a couple months later. It was fastest growing city in the country at the time. Well, tons. I, when I got back home, I was checking out job opportunities. Saw that there was tons of jobs available compared to where I was at. There was nothing going on. Uh, it was a military town. All the guys were overseas uh, fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan. It was, it was dead. Dead city. Double digit unemployment. I couldn't even get a job at McDonald's. I mean, it was so horrible. Um, it was just because of a friend I had that I, um, a referral from her that I actually got the job that I was working at the time. It wasn't much, but heck, it was at least something. Um, so, um, yeah, there, there was uh, a lot, um, um, a lot of jobs. The cost of living wasn't bad. Of course, no state income tax uh, and everything. And, 
yeah been out here and moved out here end of january beginning of february and been out here pretty much ever since except for the four months that i was in florida so um but anyway um yeah like i said lots going through my head right now so taking things slow but anyway um i hope you all have a great day i see my 30 minutes is up <laughs> I have to go. I got to do my yoga and so forth. Um, I'll talk at you later. Love you guys. Mm -hmm.